In this video, I think I'm just going to try to speak from the heart. Not really going in any particular direction as much as I just wanted to talk about a lot of things that I have rarely ever discussed with other people. I guess you could say maybe some secrets are going to be coming out in this video. Nothing big, but just stuff that's personal to me that I don't talk about a lot. <sighs> Growing up as somebody half Puerto Rican and half white, but not speaking Spanish and identifying with blacks and black culture, being an outsider for my unique interest and living in the South has really made me very humble. It's made me see what it feels like to be an outsider, what it feels like to be outcasted, afraid to talk about your identity or how you feel or be yourself. And just to be generally fearful and even to have a hatred and anger toward humanity in general. I relate to Black Lives Matter and I support it. I support it because I know what it feels like to be an outsider. If I know what it feels like to be an outsider, I know that they do. I'm sure that they're tired of feeling unsafe everywhere they go. I'm sure they're tired of the stigma around their race. Although sometimes I envy them because even at the end of the day, they're still black and they have that black unity. But when you're mixed, you don't really have any identity. But maybe that's another reason I relate to blacks, especially African-American culture here in America. Predominantly the rap, R&B, G-funk, house, funk cultures. Because they know all about being an outsider and wanting to fight the power. They know all about that. That's stuff that I strongly identify with because I know how bad it sucks to be an outsider. I was never white enough or never Latino enough for either side. And it can really get lonely because of that, especially when you have a lot of unique hobbies, interests, and worldviews. People say, oh, what do you want to do? You want to go out to eat? No, I want to change the world. I want to write. I want to do something great. I want to be remembered for something. I want to work on my classic car. Those are things that most people just don't give a shit about. So more often than not, I find myself here alone. I'm not sure what made me want to do this video. Maybe I just felt like talking today. It's a Sunday. It's the day after the protest. I went to the protest for many reasons because I believe in a revolution. I believe in Black Lives Matter. I know what it feels like to be an outsider. But then again, being mixed and not having an identity myself, I kind of feel a little bit of envy for them. Because as much as they hate being outsiders, as much as they are tired of being treated second rate, they all have that unity and commonality among each other. Somebody like me, being half white, half Latino, not speaking Spanish, growing up around blacks in the South and having unique interests, I'm denied all of that, and it sucks. Hell, I'm afraid to even show myself completely around different races that I hang around. Because I can relate to the blacks about this, I can relate to the Latinos about this, I can relate to my white friends about this. And so being mixed at the end of the day, you're not really sure of your alliances in society. Sometimes all you know is that you hate it. Because you hate being an outsider. 
If you guys hear any background noise, please forgive me. I live in a rough neighborhood. There's always something going on over here. But I guess that was something that I wanted to share. It's not something that I share with hardly anybody. I think only the people that are really close to me know about it. It's not even because I want to express it to them either. It's just because it just comes out. And it just fucking sucks. I get jealous of my white friends. Because they're completely white and white culturally. I get jealous of my black friends because they're black and black culturally. I don't really have any mixed friends. I get jealous of my Latino friends. For the same reasons. And while I love so many of those cultures, I don't really feel like I belong to any of them. And that that's another thing that really that really hurts about being a mixed person. Someone of mixed descent, not only racially, but culturally. You're not really part of anything. You're just a fucking mutt. And if you don't like it, tough shit. Get over it. And so I find myself alone a lot. Being an outsider is real cool until you're an outsider among outsiders. Being an introvert is really cool until you don't have a fucking choice. Until you don't really have friends or family that you can relate to or people that you can count on. It's easy to stand alone when you're not really alone and you can call for help if you need it. But standing alone, really standing alone, really standing for your beliefs and your unique taste and your race and your mixed descent, when nobody gives a fuck about you, that's another story. That's not easy to do. I've had a lot of people call me out on that, but they can't fucking relate. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about when they say, oh, well, you've got this, you've got that. No, you do. I don't. So stay in your fucking lane. I guess that was just something I wanted to talk about. Maybe that's why I like Black Lives Matter. I get it. People fighting for their own existence. People fighting for their validation. Yeah. It's not easy being an outsider. Hell, even when I hang out with outcasts, the guys and girls who wear all black they still like things that to me are very mainstream. They still like their fucking trap music. They still like their fucking heavy metal music. They still think along a wavelength and commonality that apparently I just don't get. So when I talk about my unique vision and interest to change the world, it goes right over their head. They don't get it. So I'm an outsider even among outsiders. It was like that when I was a Jehovah's Witness. It was like that before I was a Jehovah's Witness. And here I am on the outside in the real world with real races. And guess what? Not much has changed. There's not a lot of us out here. And that's the part that sucks. So I love it when people tell me, oh, well, it's so good that you're different. It's good to be different. You know what it's like to be different? You know what that's fucking like? Let me tell you what it's like. It's lonely. And it's not the type of loneliness where you can just pick up a phone and call somebody when you're ready for it to be over. No, motherfucker, you just hang on and you deal with it till it's over. You don't like that? <laughs> Tough shit. Oh, well. Looks like you're going to die then, motherfucker. Oh, well. Deal with it, bitch. That sucks. So I laugh at all these people out here saying, oh, well, you know, it's good to be different. And, well, just deal with it alone. These are the people who have no empathy, who don't get what it's like. They're usually one race who have family or friends that they can call on when they need them. 
So in other words, their introversion and isolation and dealing with it alone and standing alone is a choice. It's a choice that they're not denied of if they need it. Well, let me tell you something. You stand strong like that and you stand alone when you don't have a fucking choice. And you come back and you tell me how strong you are. Yeah. Do you really want a drink of my cup? You see, I know what it's like to actually stand alone. To actually be an outsider. Because I'm not just an outsider who wears a fucking badge that says outsider. No, I'm actually an outsider who has no fucking choice. You don't like my intensity? You don't like my uniqueness? Well, join the club because you'd be like every other motherfucker on the planet. That's about all I had to say about that. Like I said, I wasn't really going anywhere with this video as much as I just wanted to express myself about what it feels like to be an outsider when you don't have a choice and how I can relate to Black Lives Matter. Yeah. So, hopefully this enlightens some people. Because enlightenment is not about positive vibes. No, enlightenment is about reality and acceptance. And being able to deal with it and stand strong. Sometimes when you're really alone. Alone to the point where you can't fucking call on someone to come to your aid. Yeah. That's what being an outsider is really about. So for all you critics out there, you go through that shit and you come back and you talk to me. Go home claiming you like to be an introvert to your wife and kids and your family. And tell me how lonely you are. <laughs> tell me more about how much you suffer. About how angry you are. How wrong you feel. Tell me more about that. Tell me about that. Come back and talk to me when you can be alone for months on end. Whether you like it or not. Because you don't really have family or friends you can turn to. To sit there on a lonely night and to get so lonely that you might want to pick up the phone and call somebody. Oh, wait a minute. You can't fucking do that. Because you don't have any friends or family you can count on. And even if you do, they don't get what you're going through. So they don't have any fucking clue with what it's actually like. And they just tell you to get over it as they hang up the phone and go back to their friends and their family and their normal mainstream interest in life. Because they don't fucking know the struggle. That's what being an outsider is all about. That's what standing on your own is all about. That's what enlightenment is about. That is what spiritual awakening is all about.